Kashina is situated in the centre of an abundant, thriving and populous region amid fertile fields and vineyards in a splendid plain on the Ducal Road from Pisa to Florence, between the River Arno and the Rinonico drainage canal, two miles east of the village of Fornacete, eight miles east of Pisa and 14 miles northwest of Leghorn. So begins the Reverend Francesco Conti's book, Cascina and its Environs, published in 1912. The origin of the name Cascina is still uncertain. Some historians believe it derives from the ancient Etruscan settlement of Casne. Others consider it comes from the river of the same name. That river is first referred to in 935, while the earliest mention of the name Kashina goes back to a parchment dated 26 June 750 AD, which cites the donation of a house to the church of St. Mary of Kassina. In medieval times, Kashina was already a fortified town with a rectangular shaped castle encircled by 12 towers connected by low walls surrounded by a wide moat. Documents from 1270 mention a bell tower and a fortified moat excavated south of the Arno to defend Pisan territory and allow for the outflow of water from the Arno in case of need. During the Pisan Republic, the city of Kashina was a loyal supporter of the emperor against the Lucans and Florentines. It remained an ally of the Pisan Republic until July the 29th, 1364, when the Florentines succeeded in defeating Pisa in the bloody and brutal Battle of Kashina, celebrated by Michelangelo Bonarroti, from whose hand just a few preparatory sketches have been preserved and now viewable only through Vasari's fresco of the battle in the Hall of the 500 in Florence's Palazzo Vecchio. Four centuries later, in a parchment dated 27th October 1142, now preserved in the Archbishop's archives in Pisa, Balduino, Archbishop of Pisa, gave some inhabitants in the Cascina territory the assignment of building the castle and town. Today, the walls appear very disjointed because of the urban transformations that took place between the end of the 19th and the beginning of the 20th centuries, when there were demolitions and various changes. Further destruction occurred during and after the Second World War. Large parts of the ramparts and the towers that surrounded the old fortified town of Kashina, however, are still standing. Even though engulfed by the urban fabric. For example, the pentagonal Parisina Tower, the Stradina, the Piazza d'Armi, and the street skirting the walls. The first monument that catches one's eye when reaching Kashina is the Civic O'Clock Tower in the western part of the old centre where the Pisan Gateway was formerly. Built of brick, it originally formed part of a building housing the militia and its original height was a little below that of the present clock. Today, the tower is 72 feet tall and the additions to its height carried out across the centuries are clearly visible on its surface.
As in most cities, Kashina developed through the ages around the parish church square. It is here that some of the most important buildings are to be found. For example, St. Mary's Church, the Chapel of the Sacrament, the Holy Cross Oratory, the Bell Tower and the Stefanini Palace. The parish church dedicated to St. Mary and St. John is the oldest in the area. It was already in existence in the second half of the 8th century, but the present building dates from the end of the 11th century. The Romanesque structure has a basilican plan with nave and aisles. Its gabled facade displays five blind arcades in the lower and three in the upper part. Above these, the tympanum is crowned by a marble cross and has circular windows on either side. On the church's right wall, an inscription commemorates the passage of Frederick II's troops in 1228. The interior has retained its Romanesque simplicity with aisles separated from the aisle by monolithic columns of pink granite and Cipollino marble. To the left, adjoining the parish church, is the Chapel of the Sacrament. Originally a separate building, it formed part of a small cemetery relocated towards the end of the 18th century. The chapel has an interior decorated in later Baroque style. To the south of the square is a Holy Cross Oratory, otherwise known as the Church of the Crucifix. Originally a baptistry, it was long closed and in a state of decay. Recently restored, the oratory displays all of its Baroque beauty with a round baptismal font in marble. The bell tower is asymmetrical and unrelated to the ground plan of the parish church. It possibly had a military function as it is aligned with the old castle and built upon a former tower. Constructed with large blocks of Uliveto limestone, the upper part of the tower was rebuilt in brick towards the end of the 15th century after its top had been damaged by a raid in 1295. In front of the parish church is the Stefanini Palace, now the headquarters of the Misericordia, or Company of Medical Volunteers. The facade is of brick, with three orders of windows framed by Serena stone. The exterior sobriety and simplicity contrasts with the interior's decorative wealth, especially its large galleried hall in Baroque and neoclassical style. Not far from the church, along Corso Matteotti, Cascina's principal thoroughfare, towards Florence, is the oratory of St. John the Baptist, otherwise called of the Knights, better known by its inhabitants as the Nuns' Little Church. This simple brick structure, with a single aisle divided into two bays of equal size, covered by rib vaults, was built at the end of the 14th century. The interior is entirely decorated with frescoes by the Sienese Martini of Bartolomeo, depicting scenes from the Old Testament. Anna Franchi, in her 1928 book, 
from Kashina to Kashana, describes the oratory thus. For an instant, the utter emptiness of this church makes it seem larger than it is. Little by little, one loses this feeling of solitude. Magnificent images fill the whole space. No part of the walls has been neglected by the painter. Leaving Kashino's ancient centre and continuing east for about half a mile, the eastern limit of the town's territory is reached. Here is a sanctuary of the Madonna of the Water. Built between 1614 and 1619 to a design by Jacobo Maruscelli, it is an elegant structure in the shape of a Greek cross. The adjoining bell tower, surmounted by a dome, was built a few decades later, around 1642. The 30 square miles of the municipality's area develops largely westwards from Kashina's centre along the Tosco Romagnola Road. Several small settlements and commercial activities are found near this important artery, which is the axis of the territory's commercial life. One and a half miles west is the church of St. Benedict at Settimo. It was first mentioned in 861 and was rebuilt between 1535 and 1540. The interior preserves important 14th century paintings such as the Madonna of the Plain by a Florentine artist and the Madonna with the Cherries by Francesco Neri of Volterra. However, the most important work in the sanctuary of St. Benedict is a 14th century English alabaster altarpiece, of which there are only three other similar examples to be found in Italy, in Naples, Venice and Ferrara. Do you know that not far from St. Benedict's Church during the summer, when the level of the Arno goes down to its lowest level, the ruins of an old church surface from the water. This is St. Peter within the castle, destroyed by a flood of the Arno in 1545. Carrying on westwards, after less than half a mile, St. Casciano is reached. Here is one of the most important monuments in the whole area. The Romanesque Church of San Casciano, mentioned in documents dating back to 970, was rebuilt at the beginning of the 12th century. Building was then temporarily interrupted, but was resumed and then concluded with the facade of 1180. This displays characteristics of the Romanesque style. Blind arcades, lozenges and circular windows. Of particular interest are the decorations by Biduino, one of the age's best artists. He sculpted the lintels above the central and the two side doors. The interior is noteworthy for its 11th century baptismal font and a terracotta from the workshop of Andrea della Robbia depicting the baptism of Christ. Continuing along the left bank of the Arno, Zambra is soon reached. Here, 
St. Jacobo is one of the few unspoilt medieval churches remaining in Italy. The first documents mentioning the church date from 1280, but St. Jacobo's architectural style with rectangular plan and single apse seems to place it back to the 9th century. The facade is of Verrucan stone blocks from the nearby Pisan mountain. A distinctive feature makes this church unique. The existence in the apse of a series of symbolic mural paintings recalling early Christian iconography. San Savino's Abbey is located on an artificial embankment between Riglione and Navacchio. The abbey was built between 1118 and 1134 thanks to a donation by three brothers of Longobard origin after an Arno flood had destroyed the previous building of 780. The abbey church, built of limestone blocks from the Pisan mountain, has an aisleless nave and semicircular apse. The church's interior is characterized by a decorative simplicity enclosed by beautiful stone walls. It also had a splendid bell tower with a rectangular base. The tower has recently been rebuilt. At its feet, a high stone enclosure surrounds the embankment and next to it are various monastery buildings. A short distance from Savino's Abbey is Ripoli Castle. Built in the 14th century with limestone from the Pisan mountain, it displays the typical structure of the villa estates of that period. Not particularly easy to find, it is well maintained, even though surrounded by crumbling farm buildings. Next to the castle, the 18th century church of St Andrew and Lucy of Ripoli, erected on the ruins of a preceding church in the 14th century, at the same time as the castle, contains a valuable altarpiece by Barnaba of Modena. We have now reached the western boundary of the municipality of Kashina. A few hundred yards on is Pisa, with its churches, monuments and history. We now move south of the Tosco-Romagnola road and return eastwards to Kashina. Here we find the church of St. George at Bibiano. First documented in 970, it is in Romanesque Pisan style. Built with alternate regular blocks of limestone and Baroque stone, St. George has the peculiarity of being the only church in the whole district to face north rather than the more usual east. We have almost finished our trip around the Kashina area. But before returning to its chief town, we light upon a jewel of Romanesque art. The small church of San Miniato of Marcianella, generally known as the Little Church. Documented since 1011, it is built entirely of Verrucan stone. Each side has plain windows, while a graceful bell tower stands over the facade. The 
Cialis interior preserves a distinctive holy water stoop and an altarpiece depicting the Madonna with San Miniato and Saint Giovanni, painted in the second half of the 16th century by the Flemish artist Giulio of Giovan Pietro Moniginato. Since the remotest times, Kashina has always largely dedicated itself to agriculture. Because of this, two important institutions were founded here, the Rural and Artisan Bank and the Workers' Society. Beginning in the 20th century, however, its inhabitants have found a new area, manufacturing in wood. It is no accident that the citizens of Kashina have specialised in this area. In 1922, the first permanent furniture exhibition was opened. This event has continued through the years up to the present. The National Institute of Art was also founded where Kashina's young people have the opportunity of learning inlay techniques for which they have become famous at both national and international levels. However, the crisis that hit the world of work and craftsmanship at the end of the last century has turned Kashina's attention towards commerce, the tertiary sector and the service industry. Other important areas have been created from manufacturing to catering, from entertainment to research and technical development. Outstanding are Kashina's City of the Theatre, an important focus for the area's events and concerts, and Navakio's Technological Centre, where companies engaged in the new technology are located in an area of formerly disused but now restructured factories. Nearby is a very popular shopping centre in continuous expansion reached by the Florence Pisa Leghorn Highway, which also passes another similar but more recent hub near its Kashina exit. For some years now, during the summer, the town administration, together with a long-established Punto Radio broadcasting station and other associations, organises a full programme of evening events which take advantage of the renewed urban centre. The long-running Lunatica Festival gives the people of Kashina the opportunity of attending concerts, fashion shows, debates and many other events in which retailers, especially those in Corso Matteotti, the main shopping centre, are also involved. Here, the environment has been rehabilitated. The street has been refurbished and improved by repaving and pedestrianisation. Both sides are lined with porticos, under which dozens of shops are located. It is also very picturesque by night when intelligent lighting 
enhances the building's facades. Two events are now regulars in the annual calendar. One is the Palio of St. Stephen, which takes place in June in the hamlet of that same name. It is a historical competition reminding one of Pisa's better known Game of the Bridge. The other is the previously mentioned dazzling Battle of Kashina historical pageant. Towards the end of the 20th century, the National Institute of Nuclear Physics chose the ideal site for a research project it was involved in for some time with a similar French Centre National de la Recherche Scientifique in the Kashina area. Virgo was born from this project on July the 23rd, 2003. Not far from the hamlets of Latignano and Santo Stefano di Macerata, in open country to the south of the heavily congested road, which traffic police call the Arnaccio, is located a high-tech complex. Virgo is an interferometric antenna dedicated to the study and the verification of the existence of gravitational waves. It looks like an L-shaped structure with two perpendicular arms, each one two miles long. These dimensions put it in first place in Europe and second in the world. Inside these two arms is a vacuum sealed tube within which a laser beam runs. The measurements of the movements, even though infinitesimal, of the mirrors reflecting this beam is able to confirm the presence or absence of gravitational waves. Scientists from Einstein onwards have always believed in the existence of the waves and in the fact that they could contribute to an explanation of the universe's evolution. It is for this reason that one of the most fascinating questions that man has asked himself, what is the origin of our world, could receive an answer from Kashina and its territory. <laughs>